Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today we are talking frogs and how to rig and fish them. So most people think about frogs as a presentation for fishing the surface for species such as bass, barra, mangrove jack, murray cod and other species that will feed off the top. But don't be afraid to rig these using other techniques as well. I've seen reef species caught on them, paternoster rigged. I've seen tuna and dolphin fish caught on them. I've seen all sorts of species caught on them fish subsurface. Barra up north fish subsurface in the drains. So don't be afraid to put a standard jig head in them or paternoster rig them or however you may rig another soft plastic and give that a crack because there's a lot of action going on in these frogs. So that action will transfer to the vibration in the water and the movement in the water, whether it's on the surface or whether it's subsurface. And Sean Becker's one of our pro anglers and myself quite often fish the little 2.75 inch finesse frog rigged on a snake locks jig head. So still rigged weedless, but fish subsurface in a foot or two of water over the weed flats for flathead and they are super deadly fish like that. So let's go through the different Z-Man frogs and how we might rig them weedless predominantly for surface fishing, but also to slow sink into some of those snags and things as well. So firstly, the 2.75 inch finesse frog. So the little bite sized snack of a frog that we have. 10 times tough as Z-Man plastics are, extremely durable and flexible. So not only are they 10 times tough, but they are soft and flexible, giving them a lot of movement for a little plastic. And they're also buoyant as well, which assists with rigging them to fish the surface and also getting them to sit up off the bottom if you are rigging them on a normal jig head. So our little frog, our 2.75 inch finesse frog, was actually modeled off the four inch hard leg frogs. So for quite a while, we were trying to get this one across the line with the Z-Man guys. The four inch hard legs frog was very popular with the barramundi, murray cod, those sorts of larger species. And we wanted this smaller bite sized frog for the jacks and the barra. So Robbie Wells, one of our pro anglers was fanatical, fanatical about pushing to get this little frog. And after lots of photocopying and shrinking the frog down in size, we, we kept shrinking it and shrinking it because we really wanted to fit it on a 2.0 weedless hook. That 2.0 size we thought was a strong enough hook to handle big fish and small enough for them to get it in their mouth, no problem, and eat it. So after a few years, we managed to get that four inch frog down to that 2.75 inch bite size snack, which you'll see Jeff Wilton smashing the jacks on and, and that sort of thing, and guys smashing the creek bass and that on them as well. So how do we rig this little frogs? As I said, we modeled it on fitting on a 2.0 hook, so it fits perfectly on the 2.0 chin locks. So that's our chin locks jig head. And our 2.0 chin locks is basically a worm hook with a chin lock grub keeper on it. So what that grub keeper does is it secures that plastic in place on the hook so that it can't pull off that hook, stays on there nice and solid. So even if fish buff it a few times on the surface, it'll still stay in place. Being super soft and flexible, when a fish bites the little frog, it clears really easily off that hook. So the fish finds the hook really easily. So that chin locks is unweighted and very good for fishing this frog across the surface nice and slow. So very, very light presentation though. So good for creek bass, shorter casting distances and working that plastic if you want to work it a little bit slower. You'll, you'll know when you're hitting those magic speeds with the frogs because the legs will start to work really nice and they'll bubble and gurgle in the water so you can hear that you've hit that sweet spot. So that's unweighted. So awesome if, you've, you know, if you're not dealing with very long casts and not dealing with a lot of wind and that sort of thing, that's fine. But if we want to overcome that light weight, we can go to a Chinlox SWS. So the Chinlox SWS is the same type of setup, but it has a belly weight. So that SWS sounds, stands for snagless weight system. So it's snagless presentation and it's got that weighted belly. So still clears, still the fish find that hook, but we've got that additional weight. So that additional weight allows us to cast further. It allows us more accurate and longer cast, especially if it's windy. And it also allows us, if we want to, to pause that plastic and sink it down a bit quicker into snags or to a fish that's had a strike and missed the strike, we can then let the frog sink back down a bit to them. So that is Jeff Wilton, our pro angler's rig. You'll see him smashing the jacks on it, and that's how he's rigging it. He's rigging it on that 1 12th ounce 2 
Chinlocks SWS. So that's a great way to fish it for bass and everything else. Fish it a little bit quicker to keep it up on the surface. Get your rod tip up to keep, help keep it up on the surface as well. Blah, 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 bubbling across the top, boom, fish come up and smash it. So they're both weedless rigged, both fishing the top water. How Sean and I rig it for smashing the flathead, and you'll see other guys rigging it like this as well, getting down into bass snags and that sort of thing. Because you may have seen video before of little frogs under the water and they're coming up out from under trees and they're actually diving in under the water and back up again. So this little frog in the fresh dynamite so fish subsurface, but also in the salt. And this is how we rig it for fishing the flathead on the flats in those, around those weed beds. So again, it's on that 2.0 but this time we're on the snake locks, which has that weighted head on the front on a free swinging mount. So if we want to, we can unclip that off there and we've still got our chin lock style unweighted hook to fish it. Otherwise we can clip it onto one of those head weights. So the snake locks comes pre-rigged or you can get the head separately. And that is that there, we've got it on a 1 12th. So when we're fishing the flats for the flathead, we'll generally fish it on a 1 8th or a 1 6th. And again, that's all about getting that casting distance and also getting it down in that in that water column so that we can fish it subsurface. So that will work extremely effectively. That's a Snake Locks 2.0 with that 2.75 inch finesse frog. So that's our little frog, that's the baby frog. Awesome on bass, awesome on Saratoga, mangrove jack, a bunch of species, but you'll be surprised what will eat it. A stack of different species will eat it. I actually saw Sean catching brim on it recently as well. So, you know, it's just a bite sized little frog. Step up to our four inch hard leg frogs. And this was one of the original frogs out there from Z-Man and it's still going because it is still super, super effective. So this is the one we would fish across weed beds and weed pockets and in and around snags for barramundi, for Murray cod and for other large predatory species. I've seen people throw it top water and the salt water for all sorts of things as well, but definitely a, a dynamite presentation on the barra and the Murray cod. In terms of hook sizes and that to fit this guy, we fish it on a 6.0. So there it is on the 6.0 chin locks hook. So that's a 6.0 chin locks, fits perfectly in that four inch hard leg frogs. And again, we've got no weight on there. So that no weight means it'll sit up, float up and sit up higher, which means we can fish it at slower speeds on the surface, which is awesome if you, if you know, if your fish are a bit shut down, you really want to pickpocket holes and that sort of thing, you can fish it a bit slower on that chin locks hook. A Wunga, Mondrian, you know, throwing over weed beds in, and in around weed banks and all that sort of thing. A lot of the time we're dealing with longer casts and a bit more breeze and that sort of thing when we're throwing further. So in that case, we go to our chin locks SWS again. So our SWS snagless weight system, the weight system is that belly weight. So it helps to keel the frog so that it runs nice in the water, really gets those legs pumping, and it gives us that extra weight for casting and to, to really get that accurate casting going if it's breezy as well. So that is, that's an excellent presentation for larger species as well. But don't be afraid, you know, rig it on a, on a normal jig head and I've seen it catch all sorts of species as well. So a very versatile presentation. And finally, in our frogs, we have our pop frogs. So this guy's a little bit different. The nose on this guy tapers down so that it matches really nice on that hard leg frog, matches really nice with those weedless hooks. Minimal chance of weeding, pushes through the weed and water and that sort of thing, no problem. And we're buzzing it across the top generally. The pop frogs on the other hand has this cupped face and much like a popper, it's designed to spit water. So it's designed to create resistance so that we can use that pop frogs to pop water. We can buzz it, you know, it's got legs that will kick around like crazy as well. So we can fish it faster. We can give it a bit of a buzz across the top, then pause it, then pop it. You can mix the retrieve up until you find what the fish want. But, but if you're wanting to, you can get it right into that strike zone and you can pop it in there for a bit, maybe buzz it out a bit, pop it a bit more. So use those legs, but also use that pop face on that thing there. They, the great thing about the frogs as well, rigged weeds like this is they skip really well. So I've seen lots and lots of footage of these being skipped right up under mangrove edges or skipped right up in under bushes and then buzzed out or worked out from underneath there as well. So they're great for that too. So again, we can rig it on our chin locks. You can fit a larger hook in the pop frogs, but with their smaller profile body and thinner profile body, a lot of guys will fish them on a 4-0. So a 4-0 fits that pretty nicely. 
and it's it's a great lure for Saratoga, Bass, Barramundi, Murray Cod, all those sorts of things that will smash a lure off the surface and it's especially good if the fish are a little bit shut down and you want to slow it down and work it in around those pockets a bit longer. So again, fish bites that and it easily clears the hook and a lot of the time you'll find you've got your frog halfway up your line because they've smashed it so hard. So that's a 4.0 chin locks. Again, our chin locks hook has no weight, so it allows us to fish slow and keep it up on the surface a lot easier. Switch up to our chin locks SWS, and again, we've got that belly weight. So this is a 1/8 4.0, and that 4.0 hook fits that nicely, and we've got our belly weight, which allows that additional casting distance and better accurate casting in wind, but it also allows us to fish it a little bit quicker and it kills the plastic and gets those legs pumping. So that's our four inch pop frogs rigged on a 4.0 Chinlox SWS. So there we go, there's a family of frogs there. Don't be afraid to whack them on a pattern oster rig. Don't be afraid to put them on a normal jig head. Don't be afraid to put them on the back of a spinnerbait as a trailer. They also work really well for that. But there's a few options for fishing our 2.75 inch finesse frog, our four inch hard leg frogs and our four inch pop frogs. So get out there, get some surface action or bang them subsurface and see what species you can get to eat them. To find out more on rigging weedless and how to rig these effectively, make sure you ch check out our Soft Plastics 101 uh, series of videos on tacklecom.au in our rigging guide section. All the best with the fishing.